While I was preparing components for another video, I found this video card in a box that I got some time ago. This is the Elsa Synergy 2 with 32MB of SGRAM for the PCI slot. The Synergy 2 is a professional graphics card similar to the now better known Nvidia Quadro line. The target audience were people requiring a powerful solution for visualization, graphics processing and CAD applications. It is built around Nvidia's Riva TNT2 graphics processor. The card looks nice and clean, but there is one problem. There is no signal from the VGA port. The screen stays black. But the motherboard seems to boot without issues and doesn't complain about a missing or faulty graphics adapter. I haven't used the card as a secondary video adapter in an operating system like Windows 2000. So I don't know if Windows would detect the card or if it would give a video signal. But there are a few tools for DOS that can detect the graphics card as well. We just have to add a second working graphics card and then see if some of the tools detect the Synergy too. I suspect the BIOS to be bad and therefore I am looking for BIOS flashing utilities for this graphics card. Elsa has a tool called Flash ROM, which is able to update the BIOS of this video card. While I did my research, I have noticed how difficult it gets to find tools like this. I will combine all the files of this project and probably create a thread on Vogons. You will find the information in the video description. Let's get back to Elsa's Flash ROM utility. If any tool is supposed to detect the Synergy 2, it is the Creators tool. And yes, Flash ROM detects the Synergy 2 as the second board in this PC. It also selects the correct BIOS image for the flashing process automatically. In this case, it selected an image with the extension A2N. This will be important a bit later in this video. Unfortunately, the tool quits with the error message hinting that the BIOS image of my card is not valid. I assume the tool accessed the BIOS on the card, did a few tests and decided to stop the process, because it detected that the BIOS on the card is invalid or corrupted. That could explain the issue I am having with this card and may be the root cause why there is no VGA signal. But is that it? There is no option to fix the BIOS or upload a working version to the card? The tool clearly detected a problem. Somebody just didn't program the solution after that error message into the flashing tool. Disappointed, I opened the documentation of the flashing tool to see what other information I could get. And there, I stumbled upon the following supported graphic boards and their respective BIOS image names. I have the Synergy 2 as PCI version. So I need to flash the BIOS image with the extension P2N. The tool picked a BIOS file with the extension A2N before, which is a wrong BIOS image and is actually meant to be flashed on the HEP version of this card. Luckily my card is broken. Let's see if I have the correct P2N BIOS image. And of course not, the file is not there. So time to go back searching the internet for the correct BIOS image. One eternity later. To find this file was really hard. I found it on some FTP server hidden deep in several levels of folders. But luckily I found it. Now let's see if the flash ROM tool from Elsa can do its work. Ok, the good thing is that it picked the P2N file now. The bad thing is that the tool stops exactly like before. I tried to specify the BIOS file as a parameter when starting the tool, but also this did not help. After a few more tries, the tool gave up completely and was not able to detect the video card any longer. At this point I had enough of Elsa's flash ROM. And I think it's time to move on. The next tool on the list is NVFlash from NVIDIA, the company that created the graphics chip. This will be a very short story. I couldn't make the tool work and I was not in the mood to look for a solution. This is because while I was doing research, I have read that many people suggested another tool that is capable to flash video cards. Litex WinFast DOS Flash ROM Programming Utility or in short WF Flash. This was the most difficult tool to track down, but I found it. Somewhere. Armed with all the BIOS images I have gathered before, I was eager to try out this tool that got only positive endorsements. 
This tool reminds me of early HTML websites with color changing and blinking text everywhere. But that's probably the only thing I would criticize. The tool opens up with a bit of information how to use it. You get several options including flashing, erasing and saving the BIOS to disk. It also detected a NVIDIA Riva TNT2 graphics card. Before we attempt to flash the BIOS, let's see if we can output some data from the flash chip by using the D parameter. There is definitely something on the flash chip. It looks similar to what I have seen when I opened one of the BIOS files from ELSA with a DOS editor. So the card definitely has a BIOS version on the chip. We just don't know if it is really a corrupted BIOS or if it contains a modified BIOS that locks the card to a specific hardware platform or device. Anyway, let's try to flash the card with a Synergy 2 PCI BIOS. Once we are back in the program, we see a different screen. It provides details about the current BIOS on the top and the BIOS that is going to be written to the card below. We can see that the vendor and the device ID are identical. Great, we definitely have the correct BIOS image. But look at the checksum. It is different. At this point, I strongly believe that the BIOS on the Synergy 2 card is corrupt and needs to be reflashed. Okay, no more time to waste. Let's flash the card. Once the flash process is complete, you get a small summary screen. This time, the checksum checks out. And although I'm not digging the red success message, it seems like the flash was successful. The tool also saved the old BIOS from the video card to the disk. This is nice to see. But now the question is, will it work? I never enjoyed a GPU boot splash screen as much as this. If you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you like to see more of this. I am curious what the ELSA tool is saying about this graphics card now. Okay, you can't make this stuff up. The first and only graphics board is the ELSA Synergy 2. It picks the correct BIOS file, compares versions and finally tells us that everything is good and we don't need to do anything. Well, unfortunately I had to use a competitor's tool to fix this graphics card. Anyway, let's get into Windows, install the drivers and test the card a little bit. The image in Windows is bright and clear. It looks really nice. But can it also run some games? Unreal seems to be able to render fine, and the frame rate is actually decent. But the moment we enter the menu, we see some characters missing. Okay, that may just be a glitch, let's try another game. Oof. Okay, that doesn't look good at all. All textures are missing. I don't think this is a hardware issue, because Unreal worked to an extent. Must be driver related. This is a TNT2 graphics card. Maybe we can just install TNT2 drivers and get a different result. Oh, that looks much better. The game menu renders fine. Let's see how the game graphics look like. Three, two, one, go! Oh, 
Okay, most of it looks normal. The only issue I have found so far is that the course of the road is not shown in the lower left corner. I could play several rounds of the game. Unfortunately, Unreal hasn't changed. The same letters are missing in the menu. I don't know what are the best drivers for this card to play games with. It is a professional graphics card after all. If you know what drivers work best with this card, let me know in the comments. And here we are at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and are as happy as I am that this card made it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in one of my other videos.